see, if I were to define M plus um, in, in my own sentence, um, I think M plus is, uh, I think M plus is a, a great experiment. It is a great experiment that uh, has already been well prepared by a host of people for already many years before all of us, any of us came here, um, thinking very hard about what kind of, what should a 21st century museum be. Um, but, and there are a lot of expectations and a lot of accountabilities, of course, that we have on our shoulder because this is a very big government uh, initiated project with a lot of taxpayers' money. Um, but uh, I think any out, uh, forward looking progressive institution should think of itself as an experiment because there's no one right answer, right? This isn't just merely an infrastructure project. We're not just, we're not building an airport, right? You know, we're building uh, a, a place where different ideas can be explored and tried and debated. Um, so this, we have to think of it as an experimental project, which will constantly revise its position um, and, uh, and, and evolve organically and breathe constantly. It is perhaps true that more senior members of the staff are not from Hong Kong, uh, but it's very important um, for us, and I hope that the public will soon realize, I mean, we've been saying this from the very beginning, that half of our staff, curatorial staff, are from Hong Kong. They happen to be more junior, um, and they perhaps are not put in front of the press or the camera as much as other uh, senior curatorial staff may because uh, that's why people don't realize that uh, you know a large part of our staff is already um, local and of course people can criticize that then why don't um, why doesn't MPLUS give more local curatorial talents more senior positions so that they become more visible but um, I think of this as just the natural part of an institution growing if there haven't been enough uh, institutions, museums, and institutions of visual art or visual culture uh, here, then how can people be trained well enough to take on the senior position? And we all understand this very well. Um, so internally and also externally, we think of this uh, uh, training and fostering the younger generation curators who are born and raised and educated here for the future leadership as a very important part of our um, our responsibility. Our responsibilities aren't just here to build a building and build a collection, but also build a future generation of curators who are going to, when we are all gone, you know, who are going to take over um, and, um, and, and grow them. What is really important for, in my mind, a curator, especially a museum-based curator, to be aware of is your local context and dynamics, right? Because um, this is a very large city, right? Uh, people behave and operate in a certain way, um, and I think people have very active cultural lives. It's just that there's this tendency that when people talk about culture, they think of culture as merely high culture. But culture is um, it can be understood in so many different ways. Going to the movies is is culture. You know, going to the racetrack is part of cultural activities. So Hong Kong, I think, has a very rich cultural heritage. Um, not just heritage traditionally, but also in everyday life. So what is the relationship between art um, and people and place? Let me change that a little bit to visual culture and people and place. I would say that um, it is they have just natural
co uh, natural relationship of coexistence. Um, any place that is as complicated and multi-layered and historical as Hong Kong will have people of various um, characters and um, and interests and, um, and and whatnot, and they create very rich kind of visual culture. So what a museum should do is to define it, a, define it in a very specific way and then pinpoint what, how we can tell the relationship between these places.